In this demonstration, we're going to show how you can use optimization algorithms to determine hydraulic valve parameters from data sheets. Here's our situation. We have a hydraulic data sheet that shows a series of flow characteristics. These curves represent the relationship between the control signal applied to the hydraulic valve and the flow rate through the valve. From the data sheet, we can also see that a pressure differential of 5 bar was maintained across the metering path or across the valve. Using this information, we need to set up a model so that we can determine parameter values that will enable the simulation results to match this manufacturer characteristic. We're going to use Sim Hydraulics and the Optimization Toolbox to do that. We'll use the four way directional valve model in Sim Hydraulics. We're going to bring the curve from the data sheet into our model. Using optimization algorithms, we're going to tune the parameters of our Sim Hydraulics valve model until the results of the simulation match the manufacturer characteristic. I'll now switch over to the model so that you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. You can see the model of the four-way directional valve from Sim Hydraulics here. If we run the simulation, you'll see that the results of the simulation in red do not match the flow rate characteristic here in yellow. We've entered the data from the manufacturer's data sheet into this lookup table so that we can compare it to the results of the simulation. As we saw on the data sheet, we need to maintain a pressure difference of 5 bar across the orifices in the simulation. To do that, we've used ideal hydraulic pressure sources to set the pressures in the network. So the pressure here is maintained at 10 bar, on this side in 5 bar, and at back at the tank the pressure is 0. Let's look at the valve to see what the, which parameterization option we're using. Here in the first test, we're going to use the first parameterization option. In this parameterization option, the relationship between the control signal applied to the valve and the area of the orifice is linear. So the only variable that we need to determine is A max. Let's look at the MATLAB scripts that we've used to set up the optimization. For the first optimization, since we're only tuning one variable, we're going to use the algorithm fminsearch. If I press F1, you'll see the documentation for fminsearch. It's an optimization algorithm that does not use the gradient to determine the parameter values. It simply uses a pattern search. fminsearch needs an objective function or a, or a, a function that it can minimize. So we've defined that function in this MATLAB script. If I hit control D, we'll see that script. And this is our objective function. It's basically a mathematical measure of how close the two curves are. So we've, over, for 11 points during simulation, we measure the, the, the value of the simulation results and the characteristic from the manufacturer's data sheet. And then we calculate a weighted least squares difference of these two. So you can see we loop over the 11 values, subtract the two curves from each other at each point, uh, square it, and then multiply it by a weighting factor. You can see that here. So now that we've seen the parameterization method that we've used and the, uh, the optimization algorithm, let's run the optimization. So I'm going to run the first script that I showed you, and we'll see in the MATLAB command window how the optimization is progressing. So you can see that the uh, fminsearch is tuning the MATLAB variable a max, trying to make these two curves match as closely as possible. This column here, these values, that's the value of the objective function, or the, um, the measure of the difference between the two curves. And you can see that the value is coming down. You can also see on the scope that the two curves now match much more closely than they did in the very beginning. At the conclusion of the optimization, we'll see what the results are. So the optimization is complete, so this is the best result that fminsearch could find, um, the, the best value of a max that uh, makes the, these two curves as close as possible. We can see that it's much better than where we began, however there still are some differences between the curves. The, the reason for that is the parameterization option we've chosen. The first parameterization option results in a linear relationship between the, the control signal, which is ramped up over the simulation time, and the area, which uh, has a direct um, effect on the flow rate. This is probably valid if we can keep the control signal between 0 and 80 percent, but if we want the results of the simulation to match more closely to this flow rate characteristic, we'll need to select a different parameterization option. So let's go back to the Sim Hydraulics valve and select the second option. 
In this option, we can specify a lookup table to specify the relationship between the control signal and the area of the orifice. You can see we've specified 10 MATLAB variables here. These are the variables that we're going to tune in the next, in this, in the next example. Let's see how we've set up that, that parameterization problem or that optimization problem. In this example, since we're trying to tune uh, multiple variables, we're going to use a more advanced optimization algorithm. fmin unc is a more advanced optimization algorithm that uses the gradient of the objection fu objective function to help determine more accurate parameters. So it's going to be able to find the result more quickly and it will do better at working with more variables. We're going to use the exact same objection, obje objective function that we used in the first case. Again, a weighted least squares um, optimization problem. So now that we've seen the, how we've set up the optimization problem and the parameterization option that we've used, let's run the optimization. Again, the results of the optimization, optimization will be shown in this window. Every time that the simulation blinks, um, that's a new run of the simulation. So you can see that even if I knew which par uh, ma uh, parameter values I wanted to test, I couldn't go this quickly to enter the value, run the simulation, evaluate the results, and then come up with a new value to test. Just as we saw with fmin search, in this window you're seeing the progression of the optimization. So we can see that the simulation has already run 36 times and that the, the objection objective function is slowly shrinking. So each of the 10 variables are being tuned and you can see that even after this period of time the results of the simulation are much closer to the manufacturer's characteristic than they were in the very beginning. fminunc is one of many ma uh, one of many optimization routines that's available in the optimization toolbox. And you can see that we were able to define our own objective function to um, set up this optimization. So the objection f objective function is very small now. And pretty soon it will reach the tolerances that we've set up for this optimization and the optimization will stop. And at that point we'll see that the results are again are extremely close. So now the optimization is complete. We can see that by selecting a more advanced parameterization option, um, we were able to match this clove more closely and using optimization algorithms, this, uh, the process of identifying these values went very quickly.